Bisa Venus with an APC SMT 750i, uh, a 2011, I believe, unit. It says uh, PCB something something 2009 there. Uh, PCB number 640375A Rev08. Uh, so this is a 750VA uh, Pure Science Smart UPS. I uh, don't know if it's a mod bus or not. Probably not. It's probably a bit too old for that. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to take a quick look inside this thing since I have it up for service. So uh, this is the successor to the old third gen uh, UPS as we all know with the LEDs on the front. This has the LCD panel. You can see a black one over there. And uh, it's a bit different than the old third gen UPS as mostly by the addition of the two switch mode converters. One of which has failed dramatically. Uh, this is the only issue on this unit as far as I know. Uh, due to runtime hours, power's on fine still. Probably, if you have one of these, replace those caps and you're good. Uh, but uh, I think these power supplies have something to do with the new green mode they added, uh, which uh, hopefully disconnects the mains transformer into a normal use. I, I know nothing about these newer ones. But uh, yeah, we have this uh, power supply looky thing. Pretty big unit, actually. So. This could be some kind of battery charger. Uh, it's got uh, pretty crap tacular components all around. Uh, JH caps there on the primary side, probably. It's one of the, I know, uh, actual quality cap there. I don't remember what the brand name is, about, but that's it. I see you said something, some, something, something American. So decent cap on the outside. Well, one of them blue jammy cons, not good, well suited for switch mode power supplies generally. That's a TK series, it's uh, going to be bad. Yeah, it's a TK series, so that's probably a likely point of failure as well. Uh, Epcos, big cab, that's okay, but than they often have done in the past. The whole main side here looks pretty uh, familiar, looks very similar to the older gen uh, 750 VA APC. Probably haven't done much here. Uh, same number of transistors as the old 750VA, probably slightly better ones. I think they kind of cut down a heatsink size. I think the old one had a roughly uh, a centimeter taller heatsinks, but that's probably just because we have better transistors now than we did back then. I am not sure what this board is about. It's uh, right by the, uh, the smart slot head. I'm not sure what it's doing. It uh, does not seem to have. Anything usually to do with any power conversion, I'm not sure. And we also have a SMD cap there, probably want to check that out. These are known to go bad if that's an electrolytic, and it does seem so. Hmm. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick look inside one of these slightly more modern APC units, just in case you were curious. They do seem decent, uh, but sadly these caps are actually causing failures of these uh, uh, as uh, opposed to the old ones where these uh, 22 mark caps would just uh, go bad and they would groan and slosh around and wouldn't really hurt performance but these seem to actually get reliability issues when they get old till you take care of these real shame real shame but probably decent otherwise okay now we have it uh, all put back together and uh, working nicely uh, so you put all new caps into except for the primary caps on there. Uh, they should be replaced, but don't have any suitable ones, so we'll have to do the power board here. It's easy to get at. Uh, so uh, running this thing, I can tell you a couple of difference, but differences between this and the previous model. Uh, this has uh, the, this seems to be a two, 2009 uh, year uh, SMT 750i. Oh, this has the green mode feature. I'm not sure if all the display models do. But this will actually go into offline UPS mode. It'll turn off a transformer after a few hours of good power, uh, reducing the power consumption considerably. And that's something I like a lot. So an issue with these uh, smart UPS models, even the small ones, is that the uh, transformer will be hooked up to the mains, a big one over there, will be connected to the mains at all times, no matter what. And that draws about 20 to 25 watts of power. And indeed, this one has it in line interactive mode right now you can see we're drawing 21 watts just sitting idle that is this ups with nothing else connected is drawing as much as an entire server of mine 
and that's not good. However, with a green uh, feature, it'll actually disconnect the transformer and run completely on switch mode power device, and that drops the power use down to about 8 watts average, uh, depending on how much uh, current your batteries are charging at. Uh, given that they're completely full, not broken, you should get about 8 watts, which is pretty much as low as you can expect to go on a UPS this smart. They're still not in the league with the uh, back UPS as well, they use about 3 watts, but hey, they're not as smart as this guy. So that's very good. Uh, other things I can note is this seems to be the battery charger board for these since they can't use the transformer for that as they did in the old models. So if you have no charging battery, uh, this is a decent board to suspect also. That means that the, the failed caps we had in here uh, are for some logic power supply, probably taking power from the uh, battery and uh, feeding it for further to processes and stuff. So I would wait when we get the two bad caps in here, uh, this thing is going to go unstable, kind of crash, not run properly, randomly turn off, uh, issues like that. So that would point towards that. No battery charging would point towards something gone wrong in that board there. This has a TNY switch chip for the battery charger. These are, these are notorious for failing with the bad mains if you connect the power a lot. Uh, if you have uh, lots of transients and stuff, uh, TNY switch chips often go bang. Haven't in this one, but I would wager plenty of these had died to that. So okay, that's the SMT750i. Oh yeah, and it does speak uh, old-timey APC protocol. Uh, this does work with uh, APC UPSD. So I've just got it hooked up with a USB cord straight to the PC here, and uh, okay. Give this poor thing a moment. There you go, we have APC UPSD, so it identified itself as an a Smart UPS 750, just like the old one. But uh, you can probably see the manufacture date and something like that in there somewhere. So, uh, up to uh, this date at least, uh, they do speak the old APC protocol, which is nice. Cheerio!